Hi everybody. I decided to make a little video here to talk a bit about nut milks. I don't know if you've been trying to move away from dairy uh, for a variety of reasons. Some people are intolerant to it. Some people feel that for uh, you know reasons of climate change and sustainable eating, it's better to move away from uh, from consuming so much milk. Um, so for a variety of reasons, it's uh, it's nice to try some alternatives. And in recent times, I've been getting to know uh, almond milk, cashew milk, pumpkin seed milk, and sunflower seed milk. And they're all delicious. I think almond and cashew are my favorites. Sometimes I sort of mix and match and do some of each. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit about my experience with them. Uh, you can... Um, yeah, I usually buy them raw, so I'll tell you a little bit about buying them. I source them from, sometimes from Bulk Barn or from um, here in Waterloo from Zero Waste Bulk or sometimes order them online from OM Foods, OM Foods. You can order those. Um, try and buy organic, but always. Uh, and so in terms of actually making them, I, um, I make about a cup at a time and uh, that'll produce about three cups of liquid, which is good for me and our household for, you know, a, a day or two, um, sometimes longer. And, uh, and in terms of what I use it for, I'm going to end up putting them in, um, let's see, it can be the basis for a smoothie. I can also um, use it, just, I mean, just drinking on its own. Uh, if you're into making lattes, they're probably good in lattes as well. Uh, so pretty pretty versatile, but mostly just just drink them on their own or I'll put them in granola as well um, So so what's the process so we get about a cup of the of the seeds um, Soak them overnight, you know sort of six to twelve hours and then strain them so get rid of that liquid um, the Soak seeds in the in the blender with uh, three cups of fresh water You can put in a pinch of salt if you like um, and then I like mine slightly sweet, so I use about two large pitted dates. Um, you could use other kinds of sweeteners, but the dates are nice. And a teaspoon of vanilla. And again, if you want to get fancy and try new things, you could put some cocoa powder in there and then you add more sweetener because the cocoa powder is really bitter. Um, and then uh, blend it up. And again, I'm fortunate to have a, a Vitamix blender, and so it blends up super smooth. Um, and I don't even need to strain it. But if you're using another blender that's not quite so powerful, you would want to use um, strain it off afterwards to get rid of all the pulp, the really kind of thick texture. Uh, and so you would use um, either a nut milk bag, which I've bought some cheap ones on eBay in the past, um, or you could use cheesecloth, or you could use a thin dish towel. Probably just lay it either if you have a big, um, if you have a big, uh, um, not a colander. Well, I guess you could put it in a colander and uh, over a, over a pot, or a big sieve. Um, again, over a big bowl, and um, dump it in there and squeeze it out as tightly as you can. And then you end up with some pulp, and so that extra pulp, you can. Um, I've like kept it in the fridge for a few days, and then just taken a few spoonfuls um, when I'm having granola, just a give it use up the extra bulk there uh, you could make crackers I uh, haven't tried that myself but I think uh, there's some pretty simple cracker recipes online um, and similarly you can throw it in if you're baking <clears throat> cookies <clears throat> banana bread uh, muffins etc um, I try and use our um, our the pulp would probably last fairly long you can probably freeze it as well um, in terms of the drink itself the nut milk I usually use it within sort of two to four days it's so delicious you usually use it up quickly but um, but it will last longer um, I find that it does it does separate I put it in a jar and then keep it in the fridge and it does separate so I often have to sort of shake it up before I before I use it and I do notice that when I use um, pumpkin seed and particularly the sunflower seed that it sort of separates and the liquid at the bottom of the jar is a kind of a, a darker color so it's not quite as pleasant to look at than the almond milk or the cashew but still equally good um, and they're super creamy and fresh and versatile, so um, I hope you give it a try and, and enjoy it. <laughs> 